Hi and welcome back to my medieval allotment. My name is Vic and today I'm just going to do my raised beds. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. So all I've done, just been digging up this soil just a little bit. So I'm just going to do it in real time. in some of this and if you remember day one when I cleared the weeds put some of it in a bin left it in there and it's dried out and this is what I've got so this is gonna be my straw I have to make do with what we've got and I'm gonna add some manure Add some water. Now, fun, be fun begins. Exercise. Gonna add a little bit manure and a little bit more water. And I've made my daub. So all I'm gonna do now is clip my daub and plaster it on here. Just like that.
Right, so I just need to make, I just need to make a little bit more to finish this off a little bit. I'm gonna have to do the other side as well. If you are gonna do this, make sure your boots are waterproof, like mine. It's best to wear well is.
Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. Let's get in a bit closer. Okay, so this is my eco-friendly raised beds. As you already know, I did it in a dead hedge style, but this is my crenellated raised bed. In each one, starting from the end here, obviously I'm gonna fill that middle bit up. And obviously, you know, that's gonna be a gap and that's gonna be filled up. That's going to be a gap and so on. So that's going to be my crenellations. So I need to do the same on this side. As you can see, um, the soil, which I just took right out of the middle of the raised bed. So I've got my soil there already. Added manure, some dried weeds, which, which um, actually acts as a straw. Mix it with water, created my daub. All I'm going to do with those holes I'm just going to fill it with logs. Fill it with logs. The whole bed is going to be filled up with logs and that. About halfway, roughly. And then topped off with soil. Um, the reason, if some of you was thinking, why didn't I do it with my hands? Because it's, you know, it's nice to get your hands in. Because I've still got bits of glass. Got bits of glass um, still in the soil. So it's a bit dangerous if I did it bare hands. Let's move this chair. But yeah, it's coming along nice. And all this is eco friendly. Natural materials. So I'm going to complete this raised bed. And yeah, I am loving it. There's my manure. Got that last year. Before I even got this allotment. Yeah, and just logs like this. Just going to um, fill my raised bed with it. Um, the, these piece of logs there, the chairman give me these. And um, I think he cut them down from his own plot, I'm not sure, or somewhere on this allotment and he just give them a... I must say, everyone on this um, allotment, everybody seems to be friendly and kind. A lot of people have been coming up to me already. Oh, have you got this plot here? You've done a fantastic job and everyone's really shot. I've turned it around here, you know. Y'all seen what day one looked like. Let's get rid of that. Y'all seen what the plot looked previously. So this daub is gonna take, I don't know, maybe a few days, two to three days to fully dry. But um, still gonna plaster on a little bit more daub. You know, I need to get these sticks covered properly. Right there, it's not covered properly, but I'm going to do that off camera. And creating your own daub, it's a good exercise as you could see. It was nice, it's fun. Gardening doesn't have to be boring, you can make it fun. And that's what I've done. That's what I like to do. So, yep, this is what I've done. Make sure, oh, I also, I also forgot. I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got over, I've got 1,000 people in my camp followers now. So thank you very much to everyone um, who's subscribed to my channel. Got a thousands of you, so yep, I've reached 1,000 camp followers. 
you know what I mean when I say camp followers, obviously subscribers. So thank you very much. Please continue to um, watch me on my journey. A lot of you have been saying that I've given you... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, I, I'm, I'm actually encouraging some of you guys. So that's really good. So thank you. A lot of you have been um, commenting saying that, you know, I've inspired you. That's the word I'm looking for. I've inspired you to get out in your garden and start your own dead hedges and making your own raised beds and all sorts. So just as you guys are encouraging me on my plot, I'm glad to hear that I'm in also encouraging you as well. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to add. Is there? Is there? This is my temporary throne. Yeah, so I'm seating on that. Yeah, someone in the comment section also said make sure that I build a mound. So I was actually going to do that anyway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dig down, dig down a bit um, where you can see that trench there. Dig down, and then I'm gonna build steps going up to the throne. So I'm probably gonna dig down around about here, if I'm being honest, where that stick is there. Dig down all the way down to there. And then closer to the throne I get, I'm gonna raise, uh, make some steps. That's not going to be my actual throne. My throne is going to be made out of stone. So this is where my stone throne is going to be. And was there anything else I needed to cover? No, I'm not going to do a tour of what I'm growing yet on the update. I'll leave that for the next video. All right, so yeah, I think that's it. So thank you for everyone who's joined my camp. And continue to spread the word, what I'm doing if you are doing that anyway but thank you very much for being a part of my camp followers and i shall see you very soon thank you and goodbye